I can't believe it. it's nearly two weeks since the marriage life retreat. Rhonda and I were so privileged to pull from various seasons in our lives, and prayerfully, you were blessed by it. Listen, I know there's a pull of great temptation to go back to old routines. I want you to resist that pull. So I'm giving you three different possibilities, options, if you will, to stay focused on the future. Number one, set aside three to five minutes for prayer together. Uh, perhaps before you go off to work or before you go to sleep. And focus on these three things. Thank God for one wonderful thing about your spouse. Confess an area of need that you need God to help you work through. And give God praise for something wonderful that's happened in the last 24 hours. Number two, pull out that index card where the two of you identified your top three needs. Pick your number one need and figure out how you will meet each other's number one need over the course of the next six weeks. Check in with one another each week. Lastly, consider just worshiping together. Going to church, sitting in worship together, and experiencing God as a couple. Now, I want to challenge you. Pick simply one of these three options. Be sure to read the letter. There's more details involved. And make sure you send this video to your spouse so that you both have a chance to discuss and commit together. I know God wants to take your marriage, whatever level it is, to the next level. God bless you both.